And as you can see here, I have ordered samples of all the flavors that I can get my hands on, and we're gonna try each of them. We are going to rate them. We're gonna give you my thoughts, and then after that, we're gonna tell you what my favorites are. What I have done is I have used eight ounces of water, I have two ice cubes, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of real salt. I always put salt in my pre-workout. It helps with energy, it helps with pumps, it helps with really anything. We're gonna be starting with the Woke AF Black Island Fusion. Now, I'm not exactly sure what flavor that is. I'm going to be putting that on the screen here below. I know it's a combination of three different flavors, um, but I can't remember exactly what it is, so that should be here. We're gonna try this out right now. That smells really good. So the reason this is called black is it has humic and fulvic acid in it. And what that is is um, it basically helps with detoxification. It also does have some mineral properties and there have been several studies showing that it's very helpful for overall health. So I'm curious to see how it tastes. Uh, it should be tasteless, I think. Uh, the color should be black actually. So give me one sec. All right, so as you can see, it's turned sort of black, it's not totally black, but there's enough in there that it's definitely not clear or any other color. Um, so let's see what the taste is like. That's really good. Really, really good. One thing that I love about Bucked Up is their flavors are amazing. Uh, I do have budget supplements that I buy from time to time. And since getting Bucked Up's pre-workout, I can't go back. The flavor is just so amazing that it's worth the extra cost. So if I ever have to rate this, I'm gonna give this about a nine out of 10. The flavor is just amazing. It is kind of an islandy, um, not a fruit punch. It's more of a kind of like a mango pineapple flavor. It's delicious. I, I'm, I'm gonna look up what the flavor actually is. Um, but this gets a nine out of 10. I would absolutely order this again. The black version is great. This is the Woke AF version. So there's going to be different versions I'm trying. Woke AF is basically their high stimulant version, 333 milligrams of caffeine. You know, that's about what I need when I work out. Some of these aren't the high stimulant version. So I'll probably have to take like a caffeine pill or something to kind of help with that boost. But the Woke AF Black Island Fusion, 100% recommend. Yeah, that's good. I might even bump that up to a 9.5. This is, this is amazing. If you haven't tried this, you need to try this one. All of these will be linked down in the description below. Use Muscular 20 for 20% off. And gentlemen, I'm gonna go work out and I will be back tomorrow with another flavor. Today's flavor is the Banff Gym and Juice, which is a citrus grapefruit flavor. And we'll see how this tastes. And the difference between the Banff and the Woke AF pre-workout is really just an addition of nootropics. So basically they added Huperzine A, which is uh, basically helps with uh, mental alertness as you work out. Um, and then Hortonine, which helps stimulate the nervous system. Now studies haven't shown that there's a great effect with either of these. Um, you know, they have shown some effect. They need, says they need more studies. Um, nothing's conclusive, but in most research, there's, it's pretty hard to get conclusive evidence, especially with things with like supplements, things like that. So uh, there is some evidence that it helps with mental alertness and, and stimulating the nervous system. So those are the benefits there. This already smells great. I have been thoroughly impressed with all of the flavors I've tried of any of the Bucked Up supplements so far. I love good flavors. Been putting up with bad flavors for some time and I've realized how much I've been missing out. So let's shake this up and give it a try. Yeah, that's really good. That is definitely, I taste the grapefruit and it's citrusy. It's not like that bitter citrusy. It's, it's almost like you've taken like grapefruit and lemon juice and added sugar to it. I think I'm gonna give this like an eight or eight and a half out of 10. Now caveat there, I don't love citrus flavors unless they are sour or bitter. Now that's just kind of my taste preference. So if you do love citrus, this will probably be one of your favorites. I do like it, it tastes great, has good flavor. It's just not my, my personal preference. So if you do like citrus flavors, not sour citrus flavors, just citrus. I'm gonna give it maybe, and we'd bump it up to like eight and a half or a nine out of 10. It's not not my favorite, but I, I would drink this. I would buy a tub of this if there weren't, you know, the other flavors that I love even more. Yeah, so eight, eight and a half out of 10.
If you love citrus, eight and a half, nine out of 10, solid flavor. All right, I'm gonna go work out and I'll see you tomorrow. Today's flavor is the Banff Strawberry Kiwi. Uh, so again, it has the Huberzine and then the Hortonine in it. I haven't tried the Strawberry Kiwi in any of the options yet. Um, so let's give this a go. All right, that's a good strawberry kiwi flavor. It's a bit more tart than I would have thought. I love tart, so that's something that you know, you'll find in any of these flavors. If they're a little more sour, a little stronger flavor, I appreciate that. Some of you might not like that. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one like a eight out of 10. It's not my favorite. I don't usually, you know, gravitate towards strawberry kiwi anyway. I like strawberry kiwi, but it's not my first choice. My first choice is always gonna be like a grape or something like that. So this isn't my first choice, but it just doesn't doesn't taste like I was imagining. And so, you know, I give it I give it a solid eight out of ten. Again, this is a flavor I would I would go through an entire tub of this, but it's not gonna be the flavor that I choose first. Yeah, so good, solid eight out of 10. I uh, totally would recommend it if you like strawberry kiwi. Um, but if not, you know, some of the other flavors were uh, better in my opinion. Today we are doing the Woke AF Black Sets on the Beach and that flavor is orange, cranberry, and peach. Not sure how that's going to taste. Those aren't usually the flavors I lean towards when I'm looking for a new flavor. I did get a new Mandalorian shaker bottle. Love the Mandalorian, it's amazing. So we're gonna taste this one, and then I'm also going to add pump, which is the red raspberry. I have noticed that if you do want to use the pump, you do need to mix it with another flavor so that it's not, you know, it has this weird aftertaste. I think it's the mushroom complex in it, and it just doesn't taste the greatest. Kind of tastes a little, I don't want to say dirty, but you know, it's not the greatest taste. So if you mix it with a pre workout, it takes that flavor away. So we're going to mix that, which will make this, let's see, orange, cranberry, peach red raspberry. So all the flavors. We're going to test it out and we'll find out. It smells good. I don't think it's going to be my favorite flavor because I don't love all of those flavors, but it smells good. All right. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to give that maybe, I'll give that a solid eight and a half out of 10. That's a good flavor. If you like I think the orange and peach are the most prevalent in that. I don't really taste the cranberry. I'm not the best taster. I actually did in my anatomy and physiology class. I'm what's considered a non-taster. So what that means is I like super, you know, extreme flavors, very salty, very sweet. I like the extreme stuff that's super mild or in the middle. I can't taste super well. Um, but I actually do like this. I can't taste the cranberry. I was worried about the cranberry. Can't taste it. Yeah, yeah, I would I would use this. So far, every single flavor of Bucked Up I've tried, I would absolutely use. Some people some people have said that pre-workout, especially Bucked Up, is a little overpriced. I do have that coupon code MUSCULAR20, which helps. And then honestly, the flavors and what they've put in this is just so amazing. I, I can't recommend you not try it. I absolutely love it. And I'm actually stocked up. So I've got enough of this to last for a little while. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the pump. And when, when you do that, all you need to do is add an additional eight ounces of water. It's about eight ounces for the pre-workout, eight ounces for the pump, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna add this, I'm gonna add eight ounces of water, see how it tastes. Now I don't think red raspberry is probably going to be the best flavor to add to this flavor. Maybe should have thought that through a little better. Um, but what I did do for my normal pre-workout, I you know I bought a few tubs of this. So what I did is I bought the grape Poke F and then the Deer Candy Black, and I mixed those with the grape pump. So both of those flavors are grape. The Deer Candy is grape and strawberry, and so you can't even taste the weird aftertaste in the the grape pump. So we'll test this and see how it tastes. All right, that's actually really good. For me, that bumps the flavor up to a nine. Like I actually really like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah, what I'm noticing so far, Bucked Up just knows their flavors. I don't know how they do it, but 
Every single flavor I tried is amazing. I am going to go do a leg workout and we'll be back to test the final couple of flavors later this week. So cheers to the Mandalorian. See you tomorrow. Today we're going to try the one that I normally do, which is the Grape Woke AF here. And then I also mix it with the Grape Pump Ocalypse. So what we're going to do is I'm going to taste a little bit of the Woke AF by itself, which I haven't done in a little while. And then I'll mix it with the pump and then we'll tell you how the flavors go. Got my trusty Mandalorian blender bottle. So let's mix it up. All right, disclaimer here, I absolutely love grape flavor. So anything grape is my jam. I mean, drinks, candy, it, really anything. So if you don't love grape, don't trust my rating here. Maybe knock off a point, but I absolutely love grape. This has been one of my favorites. So here we go. Yeah, yep, that's a good solid nine and a half. I'm being really critical. We could knock it down to a nine, um, but let's mix some pump in it and then I'll tell you what I think. So the reason why I would knock it down to a nine is just the flavor is not super strong, uh, but once you mix the pump into it, yeah, yeah, that goes up. I'd say it's still nine and a half. I wouldn't quite give it a 10. If it was a little bit more of a potent flavor, I'd give it a 10. This is a solid nine and a half. If you are a normal taster, which most of you probably are, this is probably going to be a 10 as far as flavor goes. And as far as the amount of flavor, it's going to be a 10 for most of you. For me, it's not, um, but it's still a nine and a half. This is my daily. As you can see, I have the containers here. Love it. Um, so let's go on to another flavor test. Today we are doing the non-stim, which I don't usually like non-stim, but today's a rest day for me, so I'm not actually working out. I don't need this as a pre-workout. Mostly doing this for the flavor test. Also, if you take citrulline molly every day, you tend to get better pumps. At least that's what the science shows. So we are trying the pink lemonade flavor, non-stim. Let's do it. So the non-stim version really is the exact same as the normal bucked up. It just doesn't have the caffeine in it. So let's take a look here. And that is an actually really good flavor. I like pink lemonade. Usually my problem is most lemonade flavors aren't tart enough. They're just kind of meh. This is actually really good. Yeah, I'm gonna give that like, one second. I give it an eight and a half out of 10. It's not my favorite. If you love pink lemonade, that'll probably be a good one for you. Um, I think my problem with it is, again, the flavor is not super strong. I am a non-taster, we've talked about this. So it'll probably be strong enough for you. It is tart, which I do like in a good lemonade. Um, and I do taste that, you know, the pink lemonade. I'm not sure if it's strawberry or raspberry or what it is, but it does taste pretty good. It's just not my favorite. This isn't the flavor I'd be like, oh, if I'm gonna buy a bucked up flavor, I'm gonna buy pink lemonade. It's good. I would use an entire tub of it, but it's not the one I'm gonna choose. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the eight and a half out of 10. It is a good flavor. Again, I wouldn't choose this one, but if someone gave this to me for my birthday, I would absolutely use the entire tub. So, all right, we have one more day of testing and then we're gonna talk about all of the flavors, what my favorites are, and which ones you should buy. Today we are doing a Bucked Up Black Rainbow Rush. So this flavor is peach, strawberry, and kiwi. Sounds amazing to me. So let's give it a shot and see what we think. I have noticed that the Bucked Up Black versions are my absolute favorite. I know they have a, I don't know if it's Woke AF Black. Um, I'll, I'll put whatever it is. Actually, we'll talk about it at the end, what one of my favorites are. Um, but I have liked the black versions better. They taste better. I feel like they work better. Um, I do like the Woke AF version of like how high the stimulants are. Uh, I am kind of a stimulant junkie, so that helps. But uh, I do love the black version. I've actually been mixing it with my Woke AF because I like the black so much. Um, but we'll talk about it in a second. That one is really good. I really like that one a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna give that prob man. Nine and a half is is probably what I'm gonna go with. That is a really good flavor. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. 
don't know, I can definitely taste the peach. Um, and it's it's more like a peach ring type flavor. It's that, it's that good artificial peach flavor. Um, I can taste the, yeah, strawberry and kiwi. Yeah, I can taste all of that. Solid nine and a half. If this was a higher stimulant version, I would absolutely buy this on a regular basis. But this is amazing. I really, really do like this. Okay, so the Bucked Up Black Rainbow Rush. That is a solid one. That's on my, top of my list. The highest rating I've given any of these so far, I think is nine and a half, which this ties. And the lowest rating I think I gave was like eight or eight and a half to 10. Really all of these are amazing. We're gonna talk about all of these coming up right now. All right, I'm gonna put a list here. You'll see my favorites as far as the taste goes. And honestly, that's what we were testing anyway. So you'll be able to know which tastes the best. In my opinion, the black versions taste the best. All right. 